sisters behind Kidbury and Betty Buddies. So my birthday was last weekend and I got these really cool Kamigami robots because I'm interested in STEM and I've been asking for them for a while. I got two and gave one to my sister. The first one was pretty complicated because I had never gotten these before, but it was fun because it was complicated. That's what intrigued me. So since I was complicated, I was a total noob. I had to, I thought that I should make a how to build this one. Before we build our other robot named Mantix, first I'm going to show you the other robot I've already built like last night with my dad, but I did most of it. His name is Skerix. He's a scorpion. So these little black things, these are called rivets. They keep the shell and some of the pieces on. Here are the legs and stuff. Um, on the app, you can make him dance. You can make him change colors because there's little clear spots in the shell. And since the little body under it actually has a light under it, it when it's connected, it turns green. And when you press, like, there's, like, sections like battle, dance, tag, run. So in the run section, you can, like, change its color to blue, white, green, red. It's super cool. Now I'll show you our second robot. But later in this video, we will show you a little clip of, man, of I mean, Skerix moving later or at the end of the video. Okay, now let's start building Mantix, the praying mantis. Now we're, we're going to open the box now after the Betty. And we're going to see what's in it. We're yeah. going to see what's in the box. Right, Gretchen? Yeah. All right, now she gets to open it. Um, I meant to say that. Ah, the big little silly box. It's going to come out of the space. It's upside down. Mm. Yeah. There we go. Wow. This is so cool. Well, I'm not touching that. It's not. But after that ending, now I'll build it for you, okay? Now let's start building. So come along with us while me, Gretchen, and maybe a little tiny bit of help from Mom will build our Mantix robot. Need some help? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. to build Mantix. This is for the chassis. This is the little body inside. So the rivets stick, like, screw these in. The only tool, you don't really need a tool, but I just use tweezers for preference. And then when you're finished with the chassis, you're going to need to put the exoskeleton on last. Show them. Perfect. So that's the exoskeleton. And then here's the little charger to plug it in. Okay, now we're going to start building. Okay, so before we start building, we're going to have to download the Kamigami app, which you can download on any smartphone. You can download it on an iPad, a laptop, any kind of computer, really. And so once you finish, you have to turn on the chassis using the red button. You just press that. And then you have to connect. And then the app will give you instructions on how to build it. You even get to pick the robot's name. Okay, let's pick the name. So I'll read them to you. Which do you want? Mantix? Do you like that one? Bitey? Boomer? What about Buggy McBugface? What do you think of Butterscotch? Cupcake? Dr. Bug? How about Duke? No. Fido? No. Fluffy? Frumblebug? I don't know its name, okay? Katie? Katie! Lucy? No. no. Miss Buggy? No. Princess? No. Rex? No. Stompling? No. Speedy? No. Spot? Spot? Princess. Oh, you want princess. All right. 
So you can choose between all of these names, but here's the other names Gretchen didn't want to hear. Stabby, Tweedle, or Zippy. So you wanted what? Princess. Man okay, so Gretchen chose Princess, so the chassis is connected. So first we're going, so it should be green, lit up, so the first instruction is now we're going to build the chassis. So we're going to need these, this, and I'm going to use tweezers for small pieces. Don't forget, I have to bring you the V. I know, Gretchen. Uh, you can try. Okay. Gretchen, hurry, hurry, hurry. So the chassis, these pieces, the tweezers, and then the rivets. Perfect. Good job. Such a great helper. So these rivets, I'm gonna give you a little. There's a there's a video on how to do it, but it doesn't give you much information. So I'm gonna show you how to use a rivet once we get to that point. Okay, so step one, we have to pop all these things out without ripping them. Okay, do you wanna help? Yeah. Can you pop this one out? Just push it out. Push it. Out. Okay, so all the pieces are popped out. You can just put this inside or just throw it away when you're done. So, here we go. Okay, so inside the chassis, there's little, they're really hard to see. There's little crooks, you probably can't see it. There's little crooks that you slide the pieces into. Um, so, I'm gonna, so first I'm gonna take D and A. The this piece with the letter D and the letter A, and there's a little a little thing that you put it into that you slide it in. It like hooks it in so it doesn't fall out. And and then you take B and C, the same one but just with the letter B and C. So that works. So put D and A in, and then put B and C. So the next step is this. Here's where we're gonna use a rivet. So these, um, these are pretty tricky if you don't know how to use them. So I'm just gonna take this out. Use on my hands this time. So there's two pieces to a rivet. This is the little rivet base that you stick in the hole first. So you stick it in the hole. So it's in that little hole, see it? And then you take the other piece of it and stick it in that hole. And once it gets far enough, the back of the rivet expands. <laughs> so here we go. So I've already riveted down this side of the piece. So now, how to use it. So you take this back piece, not the pull piece, not the, you take the back of the earring and stick it through the hole in the chassis. The hole should line up with the hole in the piece. So once it's in there, you take this piece, the front of the earring, and kind of get it in the hole and push it down until it snaps. So that will expand to wedge it in there. Cause since we're, since our robot's gonna be dancing around and doing stuff, we don't want the pieces to fall off. Okay, so now we're just gonna have to do the, so this, other, the other side's pretty much the same, just on the opposite side. Stick it in the back until you hear it snap and expand. Snap. You do the same with the other one. That's right. That's right. So here's the best way to remember how to use a rivet. Imagine the hole in the chassis is your ear hole. You take the back of the earring, but instead of putting the front of the earring in first, you put the back first. So it expands and stays in your ear forever.
So you put the back of the earring in, but then you take the front of the earring and stick it in the hole in the back of the earring. And wedge it in there until it snaps on your ear and stays in there nice and tight. That's how you remember to use a rivet on your Tommy Gummy robots. Okay, now we're going to take these little pieces that kind of look like little bottles. And we're going... So by the power button... What? And there's some light. Okay. So by the power button, there's little notches on the inside. And you stick it in there. And make sure the hole lines up or else it won't work. Because on Spirax, the holes for this exact step, the holes didn't line up. I didn't line up the holes correctly, so the rivet didn't go in. So then once that's lined up like that, always make sure the black is on the outside. That's what I learned. My mom couldn't figure this out. So the black is on the outside, so see the power button in the middle? So there's little notches that keep that in. So I'm going to take two rivets, and the back of the earring is really hard to dig out. So take our earring. This is a little bit trickier because it's kind of in there. So take the back of the earring, wedge it in the hole in the chassis. And so there's the hole in the chassis, and I've stuck that in. And this is the hard part. So this is what really stumped me on how to do this part. So my dad had to help me a little bit with this. Ah, got it. The back of the earring. So it snapped in. So this one's nice and stable. Just got to do the other side now. Mom, can you help me with the back of the, the back of the earring? You mean the back of the ribbon? Yeah, the sure. earring. So I just pull it off, right? Yeah. Can I lick it? Your nails are so helpful. Thank you. So we'll go to the side that hasn't already been riveted down. And so you try and get that in there. So the back of the rivet's in there. Oh. Oh no, no, oh gosh. I thought I dropped this, the other side of the rivet. That would suck. Daddy. So, this is a little bit more tricky. My mom's gonna have to help me with this part. If she can wedge her fingers in there. Okay, Never mind. See. Never mind, I got it. Okay. Okay. Okay, now this is a tricky part. My dad had to definitely help me with this. So this bends. This long piece bends. So in these pieces, the A has like a triangle in it that you have to bend the thingy, bend the little long piece. Well, you have to yeah, use it for A. You have to wedge it in there. Make sure that it's in so it looks like. Oh, I didn't get it in the hole. Okay, so first we're going to take these weird looking pieces right there. Can you see it? Okay. So, we're going to take this piece right here and fold it down. It's a little tricky. Take this piece and fold it down. We know what? Really yeah. Fold it down like that. And so, I'm going to take a rivet and rivet that down. So, take the back of the rivet. And try and get it in that hole. This is the trickier part because you have to rivet two pieces that are folded down unwillingly. So you have to like hold it there and make sure it doesn't fly out. So when it's finished, it'll look like this. So it lines up with. Because there's another pair of triangles that you have to wedge it into. Just like the other pieces we did. 
I need help. And there's this awesome feature, it's called code. It just says code. You press it and you can like drag little motor features, you can drop like colors, so you can flash that color. And then when you press run code, it just dance it just like stays there and like changes colors, moves around. It's super cool. Like like that? Yeah, that's perfect. That's and that's how you're on with some of okay. that. So basically, all the gray pieces go on in, the inside. In the inside, and the black side is to the outside. Is that right? Unless we're on okay. work. Cool. Unless we're okay. Good. The next part is we're gonna take these pieces. We're gonna take first. We're gonna take A and B. This piece is the A piece. This is the A piece, and this is the B piece. They're pretty much the same. Okay, so first, always on the inside. Always on the inside. So there's little, just like all the other pieces, except for these pieces, the like moving pieces, have little notches. So I'm gonna slip that in. Ah! Oh, this is A, that's why. Put B in, so it lines up. It lines up perfectly. Perfectly. Okay. Yeah, perfectly. I'm right over here. And we're going to do the same thing with the other side. It's going to look like this. It's going to look like this. Okay. Now I'm going to take how many rivets? Two rivets. And I'm going to have to hide this first. So just do the same thing with any other rivet that we use in this robot. So rivet that one down. It's going to look like this. And then just keep doing the rivets. can't really explain to you where the notches are because they're kind of hidden. Are done, I guess. Okay, so they're all folded, so it looks like this, so it can stand up. So now I'm gonna take six rivets. Okay, you know these um thingies? I don't know what how to show you these little bottle-looking pieces. Where? Right here. Those? Oh, okay. There's some here, 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 here. Because they're all over the place, and they should be aligned. You should definitely. Okay, so it should, on the bottle, it should line up with the foot. There's, the holes should. Anyway. Okay, so I've got one in, so it should look like that. All of the feet should look like that. So, just do the same thing once you've figured it out. We figured it out. We figured it out. This is the most exciting part because we're finished with the chassis. So now we're almost done. 
there is, where is it? A, I can't find it. There is a piece. You can't really see it, but you will when you have your robot. There's a folded piece on this part by the leg. So, and then there's a white, like, circle for the legs, and you have to, like, snap it in. This is the last step to the chassis. So, congratulations, you built your robot's chassis. Now it's time. Dun, 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 what? Start it. I'll start. Hey, I'll do the bottom. You can do all of them, and I will take them out for me. Well, how about you do the eyeballs? This. How about you do this one, this one, and this one? And I'll do these. Okay. And three. Then, three. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Ready? Let's get this off. Okay. Step one. It wants you to take them all out at once, but I'm just not going to do that. Where are those tweezers? I can't. I'm going to use my tweezers to poke these little holes out. And okay, so it says we have to fold it. It wants you to like fold it because there's like a little thingy that you like, you have to poke it out and then. product looks like. I didn't do that on camera because it was taking up a lot of time. So it took a lot of folding and a lot of hard work to put it together and you have to follow the instructions on the app. Don't do it freestyle or it won't turn out as good. Um, and now it's time to test it out. All right, everybody, we have built our robots and now it's time to fight, fight, fight. Okay, so I'm in run right now, but watch this. Ugh. Okay, so this is a really cool feature I discovered. Whoa. It's called code. You can go to motors, light, sounds. I'm gonna do like spinning. <laughs> I like spinning. What are I wanna I hope I get dizzy. This. Because this one is a winner. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they change colors? Yeah. Look at what's mine. This thing go. Wow. Wait, look, this is super funny. What? This. So you go to dance. Watch it go. <laughs> Again? Okay. Okay, dance. I see it. Shh, Gretchen, wait. Battle. <laughs> Here, Gretchen. Here, Gretchen. Oh, oh, where are you? Okay. Put it down. Okay, let me see battle. Wait, is this tag or battle? I don't know. Battle. Oh, he's getting you. Ah! 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 Press that, press that. No, press that. Ah! Ah! Retreat! <laughs> <laughs> look, at the little, look at the little legs now. Let me see the legs. <laughs> Gretchy, make your block. Let me see the leg. Gretchy, make it walk. Oh, yours died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this robot is awesome. I got this for my birthday, as I said in the beginning. I think this is like 8 plus or something. So I'm 9. This is like the best thing ever, because I'm obsessed.
with STEM, and this is perfect for engineering and moving stuff around and figuring out that's actually how a cockroach moves. So I sum this thing up as in three words. Awesome. Wait, awesome, <laughs> amazing, inspiring. So hope you love this video. I hope you get to get our mantics, and I so wish I did one a review for my other robot, but I hope you get mantics and follow along with our videos, and don't forget to subscribe so you get more videos, book reviews, and other awesome stuff. I think about this robot is a super awesome thing, and I like the phone, and it also makes the robot move. And it also has to be cool and cooler. Bye-bye.